Yeah, I'm audible. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, will you be able to see my screen as well, right? You are? Yes, guys, quickly confirm, guys. Yes, okay, fine. See, uh, in our previous session, we uh, discussed theoretically about the elastic catch and uh, redshift. And again, I need to give the demo, but today, you know, I'm not going to give the demo with respect to redshift, just to hold it for uh, some days. Later, you know, I will try to cover the topic, redshift, right? So today, I will go for another service, actually. So we will go for another AWS service, which is called one of the important service, which is called Lambda. Lambda is another service from your AWS. You know, right, in AWS, we have a different services. EC2, EFS, VPC, IAM, S3, database. These are all the different services, right, from the AWS. In the same way, in AWS, we have a service called Lambda. AWS Lambda. It is another service. So today, uh, I will talk about this AWS Lambda. Along with that, I'm going to talk about uh, the one more service, which is called CloudWatch. CloudWatch. So this two concept we will work on, right? So AWS Lambda and CloudWatch, but first we will start with the AWS Lambda. Right, listen. See guys, if you go for your AWS, you know, if I ask you one question, can you tell me what is the compute service available in AWS? What is the computer? EC2. EC2, right. EC2 is one of the compute service. Compute means what? What is compute? What is compute? What do you mean by compute? Uh, generally means it is computing. It is a process, like, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. In simple term, I can tell processing. Analytical, okay, fine. It's a processing, right? So, you know, here in AWS, we have one compute service, which is nothing but EC2, Elastic Cloud Computing. So what is the purpose of EC2? If someone is asking, yes, where we can be able to create the virtual machine or virtual server that we can be able to create from the AWS Cloud. That's the EC2, right? But who is managing the management? Say, suppose, take one scenario. Take one scenario. Say, I want to, I want to uh, create one application or I want to deploy one application. Deploy an app. So basically what we will do, we will go for EC2. Or I can say I need to launch a EC2 server. Launch a EC2 server. And I can deploy the application. Is that right or not? Is this correct or not? Yes or no? Can you tell me? Yes, it is correct. But it is wrong. Why? Because I'm saying it is wrong. Only this two statement is not enough, guys. So if you have an EC2 machine, directly you cannot deploy an application at all. Along with that, you need to do some kind of infrastructure also, right? You need to prepare the environment. You have to prepare the environment. When I say environment, what? You need to install the necessary software, right? Yes or no? You need to install the necessary software. You need to, necessary, you need to install some runtime. Along with that, you need to install some kind of a dependency also. Dependency means a library. See. Suppose I want to develop an application and if I want to make it live, you will deploy into the server. Consider like it is an EC2. But if before deploying an application to the EC2, you should make an infrastructure, right? You should make an environment. You should make an uh, installation. See, suppose I want to play some game. In my mobile, I should have a software, right? If I want to run some, suppose if I want to write some code, I need an ID in my machine. Integrated development environment. I need a Java software or I need a Python software. Without a software, how can I run my application? Yes or no? Then who is managing? Here you need to manage, right? Everything. Here you need to manage. As a customer, as a user, you need to manage everything. AWS will provide you only the EC2 instance, but it will not give you the software and all. Yes, of course, we can select the AMI and all, right? But again, Suppose if you want to do some kind of customization and all, everything I need to take care. Yes or no? Yes or no? Can you confirm? Yes, yes, Dinesh. Yeah, 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 Dinesh. But 
consider if someone is from your aws aws where we have one more service which is called a compute service which is called x i'm not going to name it out now but he is saying hey you no need to worry about management you no need to worry about installation of your software you no need to worry about the runtime you no need to worry about the dependency i will offer everything you can directly come here and you can run your application can i go with that one can i select that one so that's nothing but your lambda lambda is also lambda is also one of the ec2 service it is one of the compute service so using this you no need to worry about the underlying infrastructure we no need to manage the underlying infrastructure so everything will be taken care by lambda platform itself but if you go with the ec2 if you want to run some application you have to take care all the software installation part but if you go with the lambda already you have a software in it directly you can go ahead you can write the code and you can execute it simple suppose if i want to develop one java application in my machine in my laptop so what i need to do first of all i need a software right i need a java jdk in my machine i need a java runtime environment along with that i need a multiple dependency i should have my integrated development environment everything i should have it in my local machine but if i go with your lambda you know already this software and all pre installed it is already available you just you know directly go ahead and write the code are you getting my point what is the difference between this ec2 and lambda the basic definition basic difference yes yes no yeah dinesh yeah so now i will tell you what is lambda so lambda is nothing but it is a event driven it is an event driven event driven serverless serverless computing service serverless computing service so if someone is asking hey, can you tell me what is lambda lambda is nothing but it is an eventless server for event driven serverless it's a computing service so what is this means so let me break this word first of all what is serverless first we will try to understand this one so what is serverless serverless is nothing but here we no need to manage without without managing underlying 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 uh, infrastructure or underlying servers it doesn't mean that we don't need a server we need a server but you no need to manage that server who will give the server the lambda platform itself it will give it to you that's the reason it is called serverless you no need to worry about the infrastructure when i say infrastructure so whenever if you want to run some software you need a dependencies you need a runtime you need a software you need maybe a kind of library you no need to take care this kind of thing who will take care the particular platform will take care so that represent serverless managing managing means like you know right what is management managing means managing means like uh, uh, maybe a availability and scalability and fault tolerance scalability and fault tolerance this is called a, your managing so everything will be taken care by your lambda itself that's the reason lambda we can call it as it's a serverless when i say serverless you no need to worry about the basic infrastructure underlying infrastructure you no need to worry any question so far so compute compute is nothing but your processing actually compute is nothing but the process So any doubt so far? What is serverless? Are you clear with what is serverless? Yes, Dinesh. Remember, if we go with the EC two, you need to take care the underlying infrastructure. But if we go with the lambda, it is already well defined. It is already having the dependency and everything. So you directly go ahead and write your code. So lambda widely used by widely used by your developer the widely used by developer lambda act as your own platform lambda act as your platform where the developer can run their piece of code can run their piece of code directly without understanding the underlying data structure they can write that go ahead and they can write their code 
they can run their code piece of code so here lambda platform lambda platform where you are writing the piece of code right for doing some action what is the action i will tell later but in lambda platform you are going to write some code right that code technically we can call it as technically we can call it as lambda function so whatever the code that you are writing on top of the lambda platform it is called as lambda function remember so lambda function represent simple it's a piece of code piece of code who is going to write the developer they are going to write in which platform in lambda platform why they are writing i will tell you but we can able to write the code on top of the lambda platform that is called as a lambda function here you no need to bother about the underlying infrastructure as like is it any question so far any question no dinesh so is everything will see practically but as of now we will try to understand the theoretical one now what is event driven what is event driven you know what is serverless serverless means we don't have any underlying infrastructure we no need to worry about the uh, the dependency part library part but what is event driven event driven is nothing but uh, maybe a driven by an int event simple right driven by an event so this lambda it is driven by an event now i will tell you with an example suppose for an example for an example consider you have a s3 you know right widely we are all using the s3 for your storage service S3 act as a storage service. Now suppose, now suppose uh, you are going to upload some file, or before that, S3 you are using as a storage service. And now I am going to use my Lambda. I am going to use my Lambda. Lambda act as a platform. On top of this Lambda platform from your AWS cloud, I am going to write some Lambda function. I am going to write some Lambda function. When I say Lambda function. i am going to write some piece of code piece of code which is written by which is written by a developer which is written by a developer consider a developer they are writing the piece of code on top of the lambda platform right what is the purpose of this particular code that's the question right say for an example you have a s3 and suppose consider like you are s3 s3 you have or otherwise you have a lambda platform you have written some piece of code which is done by the developer right so what this piece of code will do the piece of code it will it will trigger actually see i have a lambda i have a lambda now suppose if you are uploading some file guys consider i am going to upload some file to your s3 bucket i am going to upload some file any file you can take it like suppose the png file or you can take jpeg file or you are uploading some kind of a pdf file whatever it might be right you have uploaded some file to your s3 bucket when you s3 bucket it got uploaded what i need to do i need to trigger i need to trigger what, which one i need to trigger to whom i need to trigger i need to trigger my lambda already in lambda the developer they have written the code right already in lambda the developer they have written the lambda function what this lambda function will do it will print something consider like it will print something or it, the result will be displayed some result some result what is the result maybe if you ask me what is the result maybe consider like uh, this kind of a file got uploaded say uh, uh, see dot png file uploaded or dot uh, pdf file uploaded like that it will print the message say suppose this is the message what is the message say uh, uh, new file new file which is which is dot png is uploaded to s3 s3 like that i need to print some message who is printing the message lambda is printing the message how the lambda is printing the message the developer they have written the code how the lambda will know whether there is a file got uploaded to the s3 for that i need to integrate this s3 to the lambda for that i need to integrate this s3 with the lambda that way what lambda will get to know that hey, there is a file got uploaded to the s3 that by s3 will send the notification to the lambda now lambda will print some message lambda will print some message 
Are you getting my point so far? So if you ask me what is the event driven? Event driven means what is the event here? Your event is you are uploading the file. You are uploading the file, right? Into the S3 bucket. This event is driven, right? Who is driving? Who is driving this event? Lambda is driving. When there is a file got uploaded to the S3, Lambda will get some notification from the S3 bucket. Thereby, Lambda will print some message. Yes, I'm on correct kind of SNS, simple notification service. But simple notification service is just to send the notification. But here I am talking about the Lambda. It is a platform where you don't need to worry about the underlying date, underlying infrastructure. Directly you can be able to write the code. Right? It is an event-driven serverless infrastructure or service. SNS is just to send the notification. But using the Lambda, we can be able to write the code. That's called as a Lambda function without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. Aman, are you getting others? Can you tell me what is the event here? Yes. What is the event here? Which one I can call it as a event? Yes. Can you quickly confirm what is the event here? S3. Uploading yes. the file, yeah, yes. S3. In S3 is the storage service where we are uploading the file. That is the one event. That's the action, right? So whenever there is an action on top of your any AWS services, it might be S3 today. Tomorrow it is RDS or it might be a DynamoDB, whatever it might be. Some action is happening. That action is sending some kind of notification to your Lambda. Lambda where already developer, they have written the code. When there is a file got uploaded to the S3 bucket, it will print something. Are you clear? It will act like a console. Uh, this Lambda is not going to act as a console. Lambda is only going to act as a platform. Someone is going to act as a console. That's called as a cloud watch. That's my next topic. Oh, okay, okay. So if you ask me how your Lambda works, I will tell you. How you are? Lambda works. See, here we have a event source. Here we have a event source. I know, I already told you, event source is something when some event will happen. When some event, some event will happen. Whenever there is an event. When I say an event, an example like putting some put operation, or uploading, uploading is a put operation, right? Uploading a file to S3. It is one event, right? Event source is S3. But what is happening? We are uploading a file to S3. Uploading a file to S3. That's one event. When there is an event will happen. Guys, don't think like S3 is the only one service available offered by AWS. It might be a DynamoDB. It might be a DynamoDB. Or later, maybe we are going to deal with EC2 also, maybe act as a source of source. Or SNS is going to act as a source. Any services which is offered by AWS. Don't think like when S3 got uploaded, then only there is a notification, not like that. Any event is happening, the developer, they have written the code on top of the Lambda platform, it should perform. Who is sending the notification? If you ask me, S3 is sending the notification. To whom? Yes. To whom? which is nothing but your Lambda. Lambda. So your event source, it is my S3. What is the event is happening? Yes, uploading a file, kind of a put operation. Guys, remember, wherever, where anything, where anything will happen, where anything will happen, I can call it as, it is an event source. It is an event source. This event source, this event source, so based on the action performed, right? Based on the action, what it will do? It will send some kind of trigger. It will trigger or it will invoke. It will trigger or invoke. Who is invoking? He is invoking the Lambda. He is invoking the Lambda. So thereby, 
whatever the function that is written by the lambda by the developer by the developer that code will run that code will run and it is going to it is going to do some kind of i mean a kind of a print or it will do some kind of a notification it will give you some notification it will give some notification where this notification you can find it i will tell you say i will take for this so understanding this one clearly i will have one demo we will try to understand this demo first the demo number 1 say suppose i will take s3 i will take s3 it is my storage service you know and what is my requirement is what is the requirement is i want to i want to print i want to print the content type of content type of content type of objects content type of objects uploaded uploaded into s3 this is my this is my demo number 1 so what i mean say suppose for an example if you are going to upload some file called image 1. png file then i need to see my output like dot png suppose if you are going to upload a file called test 1. pdf my message or my output should be dot pdf suppose if you are uploading some file text test dot txt and my content type it should be dot txt so this is my requirement are you clear with my requirement this is so whenever if i upload any file you know finally what i need to get i need to get the content type when i say content type the extension right what is the extension of that particular object that i need to print it this is my requirement maybe i will tell you what is the use case why i am doing this one i will tell you some real time use case in real time how this things will happen i will tell you guys whether you know or not there is a term guys in real time which is called segre segre gation of duties segregation of duties what is this means right so everyone will not have the every access consider suppose if you are joining an it company and you don't you you cannot have all the access guys like you can able to access vpc you can able to access iam you can able to access ec2 no not like that based on your role based on the uh, maybe kind of your skill set based on the operation or work process that you are going to follow based on your roles and responsibility you have an access to particular item that is called a segregation of a duty suppose if developer is available based on his skill set based on his working principle he will have some kind of role every item you cannot access suppose developer is accessing uh, one particular machine maybe you don't have that access to it the reason because maybe you don't have enough permission that's called as a disaggregation of duty right we don't have an access to everything are you getting my point yes sir yes sir fine so consider you are using a lambda you are using the lambda lambda is nothing but most of the time it is used to by the developer because he is the coder in lambda platform you can able to write the code definitely as a devops engineer or aws engineer you are not going to write the code you don't know python you don't know java and all definitely you are not going to write the code but who will write the code the developer they will write the code the tester automation test engineer they will write the code or maybe your test lead or uh, devel development lead they will write the code but as a aws and devops you know, most of the time 99% you will not write any piece of code on top of your lambda because lambda it is not going to it, it is a kind of a platform where you can write the code say for an example consider in a company there is a developer and they are writing the piece of code can you tell me the developer they are writing the piece of code on lambda then what is that called piece of code we can call it as piece of code we can call it as what we can call so whatever the code which is done by the developer on top of the lambda platform what is the code called it's a lambda function right it is a lambda function 
it is a lambda function it is a lambda function now suppose this developer this developer is performing some kind of validation consider is this developer is performing some validation some validation when i say validation is some kind of testing some validation so what kind of validation if you ask me suppose there are different file we can able to upload onto s3 but whenever there is a pdf file got uploaded when there is a pdf file if there is a pdf file if there is a any pdf file any pdf file present present into s3 or uploaded to the s3 s3 what i need to do i need to send some notification send some notification send notification to uh, my cloud watch it means that i okay i i don't think like notification maybe i need to print something consider like i need to send some message send some message to the to the maybe uh, some person or send some message that's it what i mean when there is a file got uploaded into my s3 strictly i am saying it's a pdf file if there is a pdf file is present on to the s3 i need to send some message and consider as you are the developer you don't have an access to the s3 bucket you don't have an access to the s3 bucket you have an access to only a lambda you don't have an access to the s3 bucket you have an access to only a lambda you can able to write the code what code you are writing when there is a file got uploaded to the s3 you need to get some message you need to get some message hey there is a pdf file got uploaded into the s3 but you don't have a permission to visible or to see your s3 bucket but what you can do internally you can able to connect to the particular s3 only you will get to know that some message saying that pdf guide got uploaded you don't have an access to s3 bucket s3 is handled by some other team so what as a developer i am going to do i am going to write the piece of code to my to my lambda through the lambda function to know whether pdf file is uploaded to s3 or not thereby i want to execute my code only if there is a pdf file uploaded to the s3 everyone got this one everyone got this one yes sir can i confirm this as a developer i don't have a access to s3 bucket so for that reason what i am doing i am writing some lambda function that piece of code it will check is there any s3 bucket got uploaded with a pdf file if there is a file got uploaded i need to get some message i need to get some message or i need to see the message in some place that's nothing but your cloud watch it is another aws service from your from your cloud cloud watch what is cloud watch cloud watch it is used the used as a monitoring service guy it is a monitoring service cloud watch is a monitoring service so what is monitoring monitoring is nothing but gaining insight gaining insight or gaining visibility gaining visibility that's nothing but here you are monitoring so using the cloud watch you can able to see the insight you can see the visibility to check to check to check if things are if things are working as expected if things are working as expected how can i check that one i can check that one with the help of your monitoring service which is called cloud watch we can check whether the things are going in the right way we can check right the things are going the right monitor monitor means what we are monitoring right we are monitoring our services we can monitor our services we can monitor our uh, resources we can monitor our application right if are they going in the right manner are they going in the expected manner how can i monitor with the help of some monitoring sub service which is provided by aws which is nothing but your cloud watch using the cloud watch we can monitor your resources 
we can monitor your services we can monitor your application thereby we will get to know that whether everything is going in the right manner or is there any exception is there any exception if there is an exception we have to we have to under it right we have to troubleshoot if there is a bug we have to fix it how can i fix it how to first of all we need to understand the problem so how can i monitor with the help of a cloud watch with the help of a cloud watch are you getting my point what is cloud watch Yes or no? Yes, no. Yes, no. So, your cloud watch having the multiple features. Using the cloud watch, we can able to generate some logs. Using the cloud watch, we can able to generate some dashboards. A cloud watch has a feature called alarm. Cloud Watch as a feature called Event. So like that, we have a many features in your Cloud Watch. So let me stick with the two words. One is Logs and another one is Alarm. Cloud Watch provides these two features. These two features. Let me stick with Logs and Alarm. If someone is asking, can you tell me what is Logs? If you are already working in an IT company, definitely you will be very clear with this word. What is Logs? Locks are messages. Locks are messages. It will give you messages in the form of information. It will give you messages in the form of warning. It will give you messages in the form of error. It will give you information in the form of law, warning or information or error. Right? So basically, this locks, it will give you an information about your server. It will give you an information about your resources. It will give you an information about your application. So all this information or warning or error that you can get it from the cloud watch in the form of locks. This all you know what is locks? Locks is a kind of your messages. Suppose if there is an exception in the application, if there is an exception, you will get some notification, right? How you will get the notification in the form of messages? In the form of warning, in the form of error, that you will get the notification, right? So, how you will get it? From the cloud watch logs. From the cloud watch logs. Are you clear? Log means it's a simple message that you will get it from the cloud watch. That will tell you about the information. It will give you given information about the warning. Are any errors? Everything you will get can be able to collect from the from the cloud watch. And what is alarm? What is cloud watch alarm? So alarm is will initiate. It will initiate some action guys. What alarm will do? Alarm will initiate some action. So say it will work with. It will work with the metrics actually. It will work with metrics. Metrics. I will tell you example. Don't worry. See, I will like give you an example. So when I say metrics, metrics is nothing but say you are collecting the data points. You are collecting the data points over a period of time. Over a period of time. The data points collected over a period of time. Say for an example, take an example like CPU, CPU utilization. Take like CPU utilization. Say for an example, Antamla. CPU utilization. Say for an example. Say for an example. I will tell you. Say one example. Say I have one. I have. I have an x-axis, and this is my y-axis. This is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. So in x-axis, we have a different data point. Consider right. This is my one minute, and this is my second minute, and this is my third minute, and this is my fourth minute. 
right? I have a, a time actually. In the same way, in y-axis, uh, we have a CPU utilization. Say this is my 10% and this is my 20% and this is 30% and finally we have a 40%, right? Suppose, suppose in the first minute, you know, that CPU that you are utilizing for 10% and the second minute, you are utilizing like 20%. In third minute, I am utilizing like maybe a 12%. And in the fourth minute, you are utilizing the 30%. Right? This is called CPU utilization, right? Over the time, like that, you know, you are can you are taking your data points over the period of time. Over the period of time, you are collecting all the your CPU utilization, right? With the help of this dashboard. With the help of this dashboard. Right, so far clear. Right, so far clear. Yes, yes, let me stop it here. And uh, uh, the, the remaining part, you know, uh, I need to cover today itself. So 4.30, I will put the message to just to join. Is that okay? 4.30? Or 445. I will put the message in the group. Everyone? Anything is fine, guys. Okay. I want everyone should join, guys. We will complete uh, Lambda partially today. Fine.